Happy Martini Monday. You thought I gave up on my Martini Mondays. You were wrong. I'm back. Hopefully it's still 2023. I've mentioned in what I just filmed, which might be the first video you see, or maybe this is gonna be the first video you see, but I mentioned that I haven't filmed in a while and I've had some technical difficulties as well as just some life events and things. But yeah, I would like to come back more regularly to YouTube until I get a new computer and figure things out. I don't know how regular it's gonna be, but I'm trying, I've really missed filming. Cheers to all of you that are coming back to my channel or are here for the very first time. My name is Natalia, I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty and makeup and as of late plants. So if you are interested in seeing a bunch of mixed content, honestly, I'm going to be doing a lot of testing new makeup, meaning new in my collection, because I have a bunch of things that I've acquired over the past year or so, maybe even longer in some cases that I have yet to use. So I'd like to go through that. I do hope to bring back my basket of dooms where I go through and test my current makeup collection and decide whether those products are going to stay kind of like a chopping block style. So those are going to be back. But to Today, for our Martini Monday, we are first of all drinking a dirty martini. Sorry, it's already the glass is dirty because I've already been drinking out of it. So, cheers. This has some blue cheese stuffed olives that I can't wait to eat a little bit later. We should jump into the video and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let's get into the topic of conversation. Okay, so what we're doing today is we are handling some of my empties. And I say some because this needs to be a two or three parter. I have this entire basket of empties. I've put it into a baggie so that after I'm done with this, I can just trash most of this stuff and then i've actually been collecting a more recent basket of empties clearly i've got a lot to go through and we're probably going to do it in installments but i really need to get this trash out of here i figured this is the best way to get back in the saddle and just feel productive and get this trash out of my apartment. Hopefully you're here for it. I don't promise that I'm gonna have a very deep and meaningful thoughts on all of these products because some of these I finished a while ago. Who knows what I remember, but we're still going to just go through and show you guys what I have used up in probably a year. I don't know, this past year for sure. Maybe some of these are even remnants from the end of 2022. Who the heck knows by now? All right, before I tackle this, Definitely need another sip of my martini. How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna put this to the side and I think I'm just gonna grab things and once my table in front of me is full, that's gonna be the end of part one. The first thing I see on top are these cut up Peach and Lily KP Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrubs. I had two of these sample sizes. They were about yay big. I do usually cut up my products because you can always get a lot more from the bottom. One of these I got as a gift with purchase. I can't remember if it was from Ulta. I want to say it was. I think Ulta was doing like a whole little gift baggie of Peach and Lily with a purchase. I have to say I really like the product. I really hated the packaging, at least for these little baby sizes. I have no idea how the full size is. I've never used the full size. I think there was one other one I've used up of these and I don't know if it's in this basket or if it was already in a pre previous empties. I believe I've gone through three of these. So I know I enjoy the actual body scrub. It's just that the packaging makes it impossible to squeeze this out because the product is quite dense and it is it is a physical effort to get the product out of this packaging. Yeah, would I repurchase? I mean, I guess I would have to go in store and look at the full size, see if there is a sample on the floor that I could actually try to squeeze out because I mean, it's a Herculean task otherwise. And considering I also have a back injury and as it is, I'm struggling to do a lot of physical activities. I am not about to put myself through even more injury, just trying to get a body scrub out of its packaging. What is this rolled up thing? This is something from JVN, which is a hair care brand that I've actually been really enjoying. This was the hydrating conditioner. There's really nothing from JVN I've tried that I've disliked. I only have good things to say. It was quite a nice thick conditioner, which I like for my hair. My hair is fine, but I do for now at least still have a bit of it, although it is definitely thinning as I age and I've definitely had a lot of hair fallout this past year. I'm guessing due to just stress and 
as I said, aging, but I do like thicker conditioners. In fact, very often I will just use like a hair mask instead of a conditioner, but this did the trick. I really like that product. Right. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is just a little mini, like a sample size, but I've gone through so many of these. I have both psoriasis and eczema. I use this as a hand cream and a body cream, but these small sizes I throw in my handbags and use as a hand cream. I will forever be a fan because they are unscented. They are not harsh. They don't irritate my eczema, but at the same time, they do moisturize and mostly they just prevent me from itching. Not forever, of course, it's a temporary fix, but on the go, especially considering I am a pianist, I work with children six to seven days a week. As it is, I have rough flaky skin because of my eczema. So this minimizes it at least temporarily so that when I'm showing kids things, when I am coming into contact, I'm not like sandpaper. So love this stuff. Right. The Ordinary Amino Acids B5. If I remember correctly, this was very liquidy. You were supposed to just apply a few, a few drops to the face in the AM and PM before creams. Supposedly a tingling sensation can be expected, although I don't remember that happening. In fact, I don't remember much happening. Granted, I think I started using this, then forgot about it for a long time. And then I just wanted to go through and finish it up, which I did. But I don't think I would repurchase because honestly, I, I don't think this did anything. We have the Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash, a little sample size. I've been really into face washes, especially throughout 2023. I've fallen off the whole skincare game for the past few months, but face washes is something I am still continuously trying and testing. I have a bunch in my shower right now. I got a huge sample pack, like one of those also gift with purchases from Ulta a while back. Anything frothy tends to be a little bit too drying on my skin. So while I liked this, I didn't love it. This is not something I would go out of my way to acquire again because it cleans, but it also strips my skin a little bit. All right, a fancy one, La Mer. This is the Moisturizing Soft Cream. This was a generous gift from a good friend of mine. She's heard about La Mer for years, finally gave it a go. She does have oily skin. She didn't like it. It didn't agree with her skin. She knew I really love the original, what is it, like Creme de La Mer or whatnot. And I think she didn't even realize she's buying the soft cream. Granted, I think the soft cream is more recommended for normal to oily skin as opposed to the creme de la mer which works better for dry skin because it is much thicker consistency and that's my gripe with this one for the price i don't think this is worth it it's not that rich thick cream that i love the creme de la mer for and that's if i could afford it that would be my winter cream there is fragrance that's my only gripe but with most high-end products there is fragrance even if i could afford this i would never go out of my way to buy specifically this soft cream version i would one day love to try the creme de la mer again because it's been a little while okay back to hair this is the briogeo scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo this is one of my favorite shampoos a sample size I can't remember if I bought like a pack of different products or if this came this may have even been like last year's birthday gift from Sephora or something I can't remember now but I've gone through so many of these charcoal shampoos from Briojo and anytime they're on sale or I get a chance to get a freebie I definitely jump on board and since we're on the topic of hair this is the macadamia deep repair mask if you've been on YouTube for a hot minute you will remember was it like 2015 what year was this popular? Because there was a time where not a single large YouTuber was not talking about this product. This is a pretty deep, rich hair mask. I've washed this out, so I don't know why I always open these things in my videos knowing perfectly well that I already prepped them for recycling. I got this one at TJ Maxx. I believe it was $20, although since it's been in my shower for a long time, it's all rubbed off. This lasted me, I kid you not, probably two years. Granted, I only wash my hair once a week-ish, and of course I was trying other products in between every so often. It's, it's a big mama tub. And would I use this again? I think with so many products out on the market and me being the curious bee that I am, not right now, but I think if I don't find another really good deep hair mask and I see this again for a really good price, I might. I think the only gripe I had with this is how long it 
took to use up. And that's that's definitely a beauty lover's problem. Like most people would actually find that to be a huge benefit because you purchase this once and then you don't have to think about a hair product for a very long time. But I get tired of the same thing and I get antsy and I want to use it up so that I can get to other products. So there's that. But I, I've liked this. This wasn't my first stop. I've gone through, maybe not this big mama size, but I've gone through several of these over the years, considering how long I've been watching YouTube and how long I've been influenced by people. Probably anybody I name from those days talked about this at some point. This used to be such a hyped product. All right, we have a setting mist. This is the Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist uh, from In Beauty Project. This definitely was a subscription box product from a while back. Back. It was, uh, well, as it says, dual phase. It was one of those uh, that you had to shake up because it had like a greener substance and then it separated because it was a more oily situation. I enjoyed it. I didn't use it a lot for like an all over the face setting because anytime it's dual, I'm always afraid it's gonna break up my makeup. It's good for under the makeup to prep your skin. That's actually what they recommend first, but then they do say over makeup to set your look and throughout the day to refresh tired skin. I used this at least half of it for mostly just spraying down my eyeshadows. That also at first I was leery of because of the oils, I was worried it would actually break up the eyeshadow, but it didn't. So I guess even though it has like that dual face, it's not like the Clinique take your eye makeup, whatever, take the day off eye stuff. But like that, if you put on your face, obviously is gonna just melt everything off. This must have had some other ingredients in it that just looked oily, but in fact would set down your makeup. So I liked it, but I don't know. I mean, would I, I, I wouldn't repurchase this. This was, this was cool to have as part of a subscription box but I mean I don't know if you guys can see but like I have a whole bag of setting miss product things here so I definitely am not on the market right now for a setting mist all right another cleanser this is the juice beauty green apple brightening gel cleanser this was it says it's a brightening cleanser I use this in the morning mostly this was one of those like prick me up, wake me up cleansers. But again, because I have very dry skin and it's eczema prone, I felt like it was a little too harsh, a little too stripping for me. I used it up. It was a pretty liquidy consistency. So it went pretty quickly, not something I really want back in my life. So we're all over the place. We're back to hair again. Living Proof Curl Shampoo. This was a TJ Maxx purchase. I think that says $6.99, but again, it was in the shower, so hard to read. It's a sulfate-free sulfate free shampoo. I've noticed my hair doesn't love Living Proof. And I tried this because it's a curl shampoo and I do have curly hair. It was okay. It was okay, but that's how I feel about pretty much every Living Proof product I've ever tried. It's okay. Martini break. Cause I'm already tired and I feel like we haven't even made a dent in this basket. Okay, speaking of Clinique take the day off, this is a little travel size of the cleansing balm. This used to be my holy grail cleansing balm and I still really, really enjoy it. I have been diving into others. I've seen this now more often at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. That didn't used to be the case. So I would usually buy it like in the Ulta 21 days of beauty sales. They would sometimes put this on at 50% off. If I ever can get my hands on a really affordable one or a free one I will never turn it down because I and especially this size I love the size I even sometimes save these little bottles and just scrape up some from like a large size for travel if and when I do travel so that's convenient I think I have one more of these and I don't need to be collecting a million travel sizes. I really just need one. Back to here we go. This is the Amica, the Cure Multitask Repair Treatment. I've heard a lot of people rave about this in the past year or two. I believe like the original comes in a bucket thing like this, but there was an opportunity to get this little sample. Maybe it was a hundred point perk or some such thing at Sephora. I jumped on it because I was really curious. Honestly, meh, I don't love it. If I were to compare, I would prefer the macadamia. I thought it was not thick enough, not moisturizing enough. I, I didn't really see the hype. Okay, another hair sample. This is the Mizani 25 Miracle Milk 25 Benefit Leave-In. I like to use a leave-in when I have one. It's something I used to do religiously when I was younger and maybe I need to get back to doing it because my hair was healthier. But then again, I was younger. I didn't have gray. I didn't color it back then. This was a decent leave-in. I enjoyed it. I used it. But honestly, most leave-ins I feel like 
do a very similar thing at least from the few that i've tried i used to use the it's a 10 which again from the same days of youtube used to be a very hyped up product it came like in a dark blue bottle so that was something i used for many many years and would repurchase over and over and then this must have come in some sort of a box of freebies of hair freebies and i used it up and it was fine um, speaking of cleansing balms i tried this key soul care nourishing cleansing balm this was on sale at ulta for yet again like a 21 days of beauty or some such thing i'll be honest when i first started using this this was almost like a charcoal i don't think it has anything no did i wash this out not quite but i don't know if you guys can actually see anything through there but it was like this gray product because i'm guessing maybe there was like some charcoal or something in here i don't have the box anymore so i don't know the ingredients when i first started using this because i think i was coming on the heels of my clinique uh one i did not like it but as i kept using it it grew on me it's not my favorite i would never buy it full price if I got it as a gift or if it was at a deep discount, maybe I would consider it again. It was nice. It definitely was nourishing. I think my gripe with it was I felt like I had to work a little bit harder to get all my makeup off. I had to use more product, sometimes even go in a second time. And I'm I'm just too much of a spoiled brat with not enough time. And I'm usually too exhausted to deal with this at the end of the day. So while it's maybe a healthier product for my skin, I, I don't know too much about Keys Soul care but i know alicia keys was um you know a big proponent of like natural skincare and all that so maybe it's better for my skin i don't know i feel like a cleansing balm doesn't stay on your skin long enough to really notice the skin benefits if there are any my goal with a cleansing balm is get everything off and i feel like this didn't always do that a sponge um, this is the, oh gosh, now I'm blanking. What's that website with the really cheap sponges that I buy instead of the beauty blenders? I can't think of it. If I remember, I'll pop it on the screen or you guys might know. Drop it then in the comments for other people that are looking for really cheap buck 55 sponges. Um, this was something I tried and I have the actual product in my bathroom, although the pump on it broke once I put the refill in, like it, I'm struggling. This was an Instagram purchase. This is the spoiled child. They do like the whole quiz thing and then send you products based on your needs. I was, I am still, but I was losing a lot of hair. So I decided to try one of those serums that you have to apply daily, kind of like the eyelash serums. I used it pretty regularly for a while, but then I fell off the bandwagon. I'm really bad at doing the whole regular things. So I think I'm not the right person at the moment to really be reviewing this. If I finally get on board and renew my, it's a subscription service and I ended up pausing it or canceling it just because I noticed I wasn't using it regularly enough. But yeah, if I can get that other bottle to work and actually use it more regularly, I can come back and give you guys some thoughts if you were ever curious. And if you know of any products, either this, if you've seen good results or other products, like I know there's what, Vega, Vega, bon, Vega more, Vega Bond, I don't know. There's like a few companies that I keep seeing ads for all the time so if there's something that you've used that really works please let me know down below because I, I really probably should try to use something more regularly and see if it makes a difference all right this is a really old product that i've enjoyed for many years and i finally used this bottle up i used to get this quite religiously until actually i discovered the briogeo this is the deep micro exfoliating scalp treatment it's definitely much more gritty and grainy than the briogeo charcoal shampoo but i also find that because of that it's a little bit harder to use like it's harder to get out of the package it's greasy and oily on the hair so it takes a lot longer to get the product out you do this first and then you shampoo condition and all that so for me this was on like those super spa shower days you know when i do have the time because i knew that this would be a more time consuming product but i do enjoy this this is something i probably should repurchase at some point because i do like having it in my shower for those occasional extra uh, self-care days a sunscreen i don't go through enough of those and this was one of the first ones i ever purchased for myself when i started trying to use sunscreen more regularly still working on that i'm getting better but i'm still working on that i definitely need to use it every day and there are some days i forget but i'm trying so this is the biosense squalene and zinc sheer mineral sunscreen this is uh spf 30 i like this 
I feel like I have so many different sample sizes from a Sephora kit I got last, was it spring? And I feel like there's a few in there that I've enjoyed more. I'm gonna have to go through and look at or report in a future empties. I do really like this though. So I, want, I have tons of sunscreen right now, so I'm not considering repurchasing this at the moment. But I think once I run out of all my sunscreens, if I were to have just like a handful of my favorites, this probably at the moment is still in my top five. I can see this come back into my rotation in the future. All right, we've got the Peter Thomas Roth uh, Max Complexion Correction Pads. I don't remember where I got these. These are the Fresh Peach Bellini scent. To be honest, I didn't even realize that. I guess now that I read that, I can sort of see that. This is the 2% salicylic acid and 10% glycolic acid. I like Peter Thomas Roth pads, like any of the correction pads. My gripe with these is they dry out really fast. From all the brands that I've tried, all the different pads that I've tried, the Peter Thomas Roth ones dry out, I feel like the fastest. That could be my fault because I think the majority of them I buy either on super sale, which usually means a company is trying to get rid of older stock, or TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which again means a company was getting rid of older stock. So it could be not the product's fault, could be just me being frugal fault. There's that. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30. I know that Elemis has a bit of a mixed reputation. Some people feel like it is overrated, that it's one of those spa brands, especially on cruises. I think that's actually how I discovered Elemis was, oh, in my early to mid 20s, I did a couple of cruises as a performer. I think the first cruise I did, I treated myself to like a spa the, the, that was on board. And I believe I purchased a couple of items from Elemis. That's how I discovered it. I have since had lots of friends that swear by this brand, as well as people that think it is highly overrated. I believe I got this last Christmas time from like skinstore.com or one of those more higher end skin stores. They had this gorgeous box of skincare goodies that was on super sale because I think it was like the end of the holiday season. They were clearing out stock and it was kind of like an advent calendar thing, but you actually got to see what all the products were and it came in like this really nice giftable box. I ended up buying two, gifting one to my best friend for the holidays because we celebrate New Year's anyways. We exchange gifts at New Year's, which makes it really nice for me because I do a lot of my shopping actually between Christmas and New Year's when like the best sales are happening. And then I kept one box for myself and I used up this one and I liked it. I do have to say I liked it. Elemis does tend to have scented products, um, but I liked it. This was my day cream because it had SPF 30 in it and I love me a moisturizer with SPF for the days when I don't have time to worry about the extra step of putting on SPF, I just smother on moisturizer and run out the door. I figure it's better than not doing that at all. All right, a hair product. This is the Christoph Robin. This is the cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. It says for sensitive or oily scalp. I don't have oily scalp, but I definitely have sensitive scalp that I also have as I mentioned, I think psoriasis. So I get a lot of sores, a lot of breakage in my skin. Sometimes I scratch to the point of bleeding. Um, I really liked this. The problem with this is if I'm having a psoriasis flare up, I gotta be really careful with this because it's sea salt. That stuff burns, it's salt. So if you know what salt on a wound feels like, then there you go. However, ooh. However I like this enough to buy, I think two full sizes because I think they were repackaging and that same store I was just talking about with the gift box was having these on super clearance because they were getting the new stock in the updated packaging. I think they just rebranded and have like a sleeker bottle now. And this is a sample size that I think I got from Sephora. I don't know if Sephora still carries Christoph Robin. It's quite possible that they were phasing this brand out, which is maybe how I snagged this. I do have two full sizes of this. I currently am trying to go through a couple of other scrubs and as soon as those are done, because they are I think mini sizes, I'm gonna bust out one of my large tubs of this because I do like it. I just have to be careful about which days to use it because if I've had, as I said, a psoriasis flare up or if I've been itching a lot, I know I'm gonna be in pain. All right, since we're on the topic of showers, this was a TJ Maxx, no, Marshall's purchase. Looks like it was 
11 or 12 dollars i don't even know this was the mixed berry tart from philosophy it's one of those all-in-one what do they call these like this shampoo shower gel and bubble bath i only use these as shower gel and to be honest i've only tried a couple and they're not my favorite i don't feel like they clean all that great while some of the scents are really cute it's something i can do without i prefer that the product actually works and as you can see by the packaging which is really roughed up it was hard to get out because the opening is small the the bottle is super stiff so getting the product out especially towards the end was a workout so yeah even at the TJ Maxx or Marshall's prices I don't think I'm really going to be repurchasing the philosophy shower gels and another thing I'm not gonna be repurchasing is hair care from the ordinary I tried the I was so curious because the ordinary does have some good products and the price tag is always great so this is the sulfate 4% cleanser for body and hair that that should have given me a clue I don't usually like a lot of mixed all-in-one products and then this is the oh my gosh there's no way I'm pronouncing this correctly the Behentrimonium chloride 2% conditioner I'm gonna put this here in case it will actually zoom and you guys can see the name of this I think after a while I started using this, well, I mean, it's for body. So I think I started using this as a body wash and a shaving situation. It was like a gel, the shampoo. I felt like it did absolutely nothing for my scalp and for my hair. I felt like it didn't clean anything. I did not enjoy these. I really did not enjoy these. In fact, I don't even know if I finished them up or if after a while I just dumped the rest of the products and washed out these bottles. It's been a while, so I don't remember, but, and I rarely do that. I rarely do that, but I wanna say this was one of the few products I didn't even use up. Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I liked this. I've really liked Peach and Lily products so far, with the exception of that packaging on that scrub but i like the actual scrub i really enjoyed this this says camellia and chamomile it was a gel cleanser as it says it was hydrating as it says it was scent free from what i remember which i love for my sensitive skin i enjoy it if i can get my hands on this once i go through some other cleansers preferably at a discount because that's how we roll around here i definitely would Ooh, a makeup product this is the it cosmetics brow power if you guys have been with me you know, this was in Project Pan for like two years. I mean, this took me a solid two years to use up. And I, granted, I don't do my brows very heavily. I barely do. I don't even know if my brows are still like intact from filming for the past couple hours. But I liked this a lot. I did. I like this a lot. I think because I'm not a brow girl and this is literally the first brow pencil I ever used and went through, I'm on a let's try a couple of other things journey at the moment not to mention i just don't want to repurchase this because i know it's going to take me two years to use it again if you're one of those people where that's a plus by all means this thing lasts forever it's one of those thicker brow products it's not the teardrop shape or the little triangle shape it is like an oval still but it is not a, one of those like micro pencils it's definitely for those of you that just need something super quick and easy and you're not sitting there drawing on hair strokes one little bit at a time um so for me it was great because i am I, I am such a minimalist when it comes to brows all right olaplex number six bond smoother leave-in reparative styling cream oh this was the styling cream oh i don't remember much about this to be honest i really don't which means it was probably nothing bad but nothing earth shattering either i'm sorry guys i i don't know what to tell you about that because this must have been in my empties for a while i don't remember um, however a hair product that i do remember i bought a set of three of these in different like different strengths so to speak so this is from pattern and this is their medium conditioner for curlies the hydrate and nourish i think it's like light medium and deep or something and i've just finished up i guess it's gonna be in the next empties well i guess i might as well show you now even though it's a much more recent this i used up a while ago and this i used up recently this is the intensive aha that's the word conditioner for tight textures i use this as a hair mask instead of a condition i mean it is a conditioner but for my hair since i don't have a very tight texture because this is conditioner for tight curls um for me this was like a hair mask i really like pattern 
products. I know they're maybe not made for my type of hair, but it still works for me. I, uh, the fact that it's extreme moisture and restoration, I am all about. And clearly I like this enough. It was a very thick conditioner. So when I cut into this, there was still a lot of product enough for me to use it. I think two, at least, if not three times. These were sample sizes. This was like a triple pack. I don't know where the third one is. I don't know if I've already used it or if it's still sitting in my closet somewhere. I gotta go explore that. But really, really like pattern products. Would love to try more. Since we're on the topic of hair and I already talked about the other JVN products, let's talk about the two that came together with the conditioner in the set. This is the hydrating shampoo. And then this was the hair mask. What is this called? The deep moisture, the nurture deep moisture mask. I mean, I already talked about this but i really like as i said i've been really liking jvn products i liked all three of these i just currently have way too many hair products because i went on like this little bit of a hair product journey at the start of 2023 so i need to get through a whole bunch of other stuff i think as of right now the two main shampoo conditioner products that i would repurchase would be the jvn this nurture line i haven't tried the others and the brioche oh Mm, but then there's okay so the three the three brands i think that i would single out at this moment would be those they're still in my shower but since i'm already on this whole little review kick however the briojo shampoo and conditioner that comes like in their little clear rectangular bottles i think i have do i have like the avocado one or the banana one or something those i'm less impressed with but the charcoal like anything in this white packaging with the gray so far pretty much every product i've tried from that line i've enjoyed and the purple jvn line the nurture line i've really right. liked i still have a lot in here but i feel like i feel like my table is filling up as i said i think i should do a part two to this just because I i'm already tired <laughs> and overwhelmed hopefully you guys enjoyed this part one of my mega empties would love to hear what you either have been using and loving recently or have used up and um like what are some of your favorite empties and of course if you have a youtube channel let me know i will gladly check out your empties i actually do enjoy watching empties videos i know they're sort of hit or miss on youtube some people really like them some people really find them boring and uninteresting to see other people's trash i do get a kick out of them i think i learn a lot about products especially if i already know the person i'm watching and know their preferences and such but yeah i think this martini monday is coming to a close i am going to enjoy finishing this before cleaning up what we've already gone through today and heading to bed and we will resume another time thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate it i hope that this comeback is going to be more consistent let's hope i can gather up some funds and fix my technical issues get myself a new computer get myself a new ring light sometime in the next few months and be back on youtube as a more solid presence i would love that i've really missed filming i've really missed interacting i do try to still keep up with people's videos but even that's been challenging but i'm trying to do better but we all know life life happens and while i would love for this to be a side project one day you know like something of a what do they call it like a side hustle for now it's still very much a hobby because I'm, well, I need to make money. <laughs> I need to survive. So there's that. And I don't make money off of this. This is just purely for my enjoyment and sharing my thoughts and having friends to talk beauty to because I don't have that in real life much. Anyway, enough with the blabbering, enough with me being sappy upon my return. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you guys are doing really, really well. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already and that uh, you are continuing to stay safe and healthy and take care of yourselves and those around you. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Cheers and bye guys. Nothing could